montrer, ma chérie. Can I get you something to drink? Gin, all right? Yes. Good. Why don't you get ready? Ready? To model. You don't have a problem taking off your clothes, do you? I... I keep them on when I'm working. I assure you, my dear, my interest in you is purely artistic. pose like this I have another tableau in mind lay back you're getting paid for this good Face to the left. Arms by your sides. Come now, this is nothing I haven't seen before. Good. Now, let me see. Left leg straight, the other one bent. Good. Good. What the hell are you doing in my studio? Preventing a murder from the looks of it. Don't be an idiot, it's for a painting. I was trying to get a view of myself in the mirror. A view of Jack the Ripper. <laughs> you put her in the same position as Catherine Edo's body. Yes. You were there last night. I saw you leaving. So you just happened to be walking by. I'm an insomniac. I wander the streets at night. I heard the police whistles as I assume you did. So you decided to paint the murder? I have a special interest in Jack. I was thinking of painting a whole series on the murders. Get your things. Excuse me. She's my model. Well, then I guess you'll just have to use your imagination. He held up a knife. He was both. If you're going to keep coming over, perhaps I should give you a key. Get out. Yeah, I'm having my portrait done, and for good money, too. I said get out. I need to be alone with Mr. Sickert. Well, I won't go. Perhaps the police would like to know about your interest in my models. Hmm? Especially the ones that disappear. And what would you know about that? I inquired at the Ten Bells pub this morning. As to Nellie's availability for continuing yesterday's portrait, and no one has seen her, should I be alarmed? I think we both know you have reason to be alarmed, Mr. Sickert. Is that a threat? I don't make threats. Why are you off to such a hurry? 
I was thinking we might go see your friend, Inspector Aberline. I'm sure he'd be interested to find out how long Constance has been leading you down her trail of bodies. I don't expect you to care that she's about to kill a child, but I do expect you to care about your own miserable life. And if you don't tell me where she is, your life ends right now. As long as no one ever knows her name, you're safe from me. <laughs> 